for those who don't know, we have this lovely pet fashion sticker template. Oh my if God. You, what? It's so cute. We have face tracking. We have a head tracker and head tracker. You can either select a human or a cat, but we don't have head tracking for dogs. So that's why we've created this template for you all. So if you're doing a dog effect, you're going to want to look into these dog tracking nodes. And if you're doing a cat effect, you're going to want to look into this cat tracking node. I believe this one has two because uh, you can see here in the hierarchy panel, we have two accessories for dogs. We only have the unicorn crown for cats. Plugged into the subgraph, we've got a dog head tracker anchor, which is this thing here. It's just an empty set to zero, zero, zero. We're telling it what camera to look at. Is it tracking a dog or a cat? For this one, it's tracking a dog. And then what tracking point do you want to use? You can see here we have all the tracking points. So 21 is... There, at the top of the head is 21. So that's what's, you can reference that if you want to move the points around. But in short, like if I move this around, let's just try 10. You'll see that point is somewhere down here on the dog's head, like it's cheek. If we do 40, you'll see that that's somewhere in the middle of the face. So essentially what you want to do is you just get your 2D assets and then you're going to drop them here in place of yellow hair. And then you can reference our uh, website to kind of know where the tracking points are and then put in a number that corresponds with those. And here's how you can add the asset you want to use. Drag and drop the image that you want to use, click on one of the images, click on the texture, select the image that you just dropped in, click OK, and it should be ready. Want to see more fun videos like this? Attend the office hours.